Welcome to the Wolfax Wonderful World. Have I got a great story for you today? Well, it's called The Boy Giant by Alan Plenderleaf. Yes, and it's all about a boy that couldn't stop growing and could he find friendship? He was a bit lonely. Well, here we go. Mr. and Mrs. Small loved each other very much. The one thing they wanted more than anything in the world was to have a baby. The dog, lumpy dog, Mrs. Small and Mr. Small. Then one magical day it happened. The doctor told Mrs. Small she had a tiny baby in her tummy. The baby in her tummy grew bigger and bigger and bigger until one day it was ready to meet the world. It was a boy, a very big boy. They decided to call him Hugo. He was so big he couldn't even fit in his cot. And he was too big for ordinary nappies. They had to use bath towels. And what was inside the nappies? Giant, enormous, huge. Well, the less said about that, the better. I'm going to need more wipes. But usual had a big appetite too. He drank so much milk, they had to buy a whole herd of cows. Moo, 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 moo. And Hugo grew bigger and bigger and bigger. Soon Hugo was too big to fit in the house. So Mr. Small turned the garage into a lovely new room. Sleep that, Hugo. Hugo was a bit lonely. So Mrs. Small made him a friend to keep him company. Hugo loved playing in the park, but he was so big he broke the swing and the slide and the roundabout. Hugo wasn't allowed in the park anymore. No dogs, no Hugos. And Hugo grew bigger and bigger and bigger. Soon it was time to start big boy school. Mm, Hugo couldn't fit through the school doors, so he had to listen from outside. Whatever the weather. Hugo loved playing football, but when he kicked the ball, bing, it went into the stratosphere. He was good in the goal, though. He was bigger than the goal. But Hugo wasn't very happy. He was too big to play with the other boys and girls. And worse, he was even too big to get a proper hook. Hugo was all alone. Ah, soon word of Hugo's enormous size travelled across the world. Hugo, the boy giant, 100 foot boy kicks football to the moon. Then one day, just after breakfast, the phone rang. Good morning, I'm the President of America, said the voice. Hugo, we need your help. There's a giant monster attacking the city, said the president. Please come with me. Hugo knew he was the only one who could help. Bye bye. Bye, I love you, Hugo. So he set off on his big adventure. With the help of some little boats, Hugo set off across the sea. He took a long time. Whee! But Hugo got bigger and bigger and bigger. So big that the little boat sank and Hugo couldn't swim. Suddenly Hugo felt something beneath him. He was very frightened. It was a whale. She lifted Hugo onto her back and took him all the way to America. Finally he arrived passing a toy lady holding an ice cream on the way. Put me down! The president arrived in his helicopter. Hugo, it's hiding somewhere in the city, he said. 
a giant monster. You just tiptoed carefully through the city, being careful not to stand on any of the little yellow cars. All was quiet, until suddenly you just jumped at a strange sound. Hugh followed the sound to a nice little garden. Something was curled up into a bowl. It was a big and green and covered in purple spots. It was a little girl. A big little girl. Hello, said Hugh You are not a monster. The little girl turned, wiped the tears from her eyes and smiled. You're just like me, giggled the girl. Hugh Joe giggled too. I'm Hugh Joe. Hi, I'm Bigsy. Suddenly, they realised they weren't alone anymore. And for the first time in both their lives, they each got a great big hug. Hugh Joe told the president there was no monster, just a frightened big little girl. Thank God, Hugh Joe. From that day on, Hugh Joe and Big Z became the best of friends. Sometimes Big Z came to visit Hugh Joe at his place. Sometimes Hugh Joe went to visit Big Z at her place. But wherever they were, their love just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Wow, isn't that a big story? And I loved it. Well, thank you very much. It's time for me to go now. And of course, I'll be back to read you another story very soon. Bye-bye for now.